Stop! Your brain is stealing your time, right now! Think you're in control? Watch this. Every swipe, every just five more minutes isn't harmless. It's rewiring your brain. You sit down to work, but your hand reaches for your phone before you even notice. Then, boom, an hour's gone. The deadline's closer, and that wave of guilt, crushing. Here's the shocking truth. This isn't laziness, it's neuroscience. Inside your head, two powerful uh -oh. systems are fighting for control. One is ancient, emotional, addicted to instant hits of pleasure. The other, logical, focused, designed to build your future. Every time you procrastinate, the emotional side wins. And its secret weapon, dopamine. That little spike you feel when you open TikTok, it's the same brain chemical that fuels addiction. But here's the part almost no one knows. The moment you start a hard task, dopamine actually drops. Your brain literally punishes you for trying to do the right thing. That's why you stop. That's why you scroll. Sounds unfair, right? Here's the good news. You can flip this system today. In the next few minutes, I'll show you four insanely simple hacks that turn your brain's own chemistry into your advantage. By the end of this video, you won't just understand why you procrastinate, you'll know exactly how to beat it. Ready? Let's start with the science that changes everything. The science behind it all. At the core of procrastination is a tug of war in your brain. On one side, the limbic system, your emotional brain, built to seek pleasure and avoid pain. It's been around for millions of years. It doesn't care about your deadlines, it just wants quick rewards. On the other side, the prefrontal cortex, your rational brain, responsible for planning, discipline, and long-term goals. It's newer, more fragile, and it gets tired fast. Here's where dopamine comes in. Dopamine is often called the pleasure chemical, but that's not the full story. It's actually a motivation chemical. It spikes when you anticipate a reward. Scrolling on social media, your brain gets constant dopamine hits for zero effort. Starting a tough project, dopamine drops. This drop creates what neuroscientist Andrew Huberman calls the dopamine trough, a low motivation valley right when you need focus the most. Your limbic system sees that drop and screams, escape, grab your phone, eat something, do anything easy. But here's the flip side. If you push through that initial trough, dopamine rises again, this time from progress, not distraction. Your brain rewards effort if you can just get over that first hump. So how do you push through? That's where our first hack comes in. Hack number one, the two-minute rule. Overthinking kills action, so shrink the mountain. Tell yourself, I only have to do this for two minutes. Open the document, type one sentence, put on your workout shoes. Most of the time, momentum takes over. Starting is the hardest part, so make starting effortless. Hack number two, the state change trigger. When you feel that urge to procrastinate, your brain's craving a quick dopamine hit. Give it one on your terms. Stand up, do 10 jumping jacks, drop for 10 push-ups, splash cold water on your face. This isn't a distraction. It's a reset button for your nervous system. It snaps you out of the avoidance loop. Hack number three, focused mindfulness, two-minute reset. Procrastination feeds on stress and mental clutter. Kill both with a two-minute breathing drill. Sit still. Close your eyes. Inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale slowly through your mouth. If your mind wanders, gently return to your breath. This tiny practice builds the mental muscle you need to stay on task longer. Hack number four, the self-compassion reframe. Shame keeps you stuck. You miss one deadline, you beat yourself up, and the cycle continues. Break it. When you catch yourself procrastinating, say, I'm not lazy, I'm human. What's one small step I can take right now? Progress, not perfection, is the goal. Tiny wins compound into big results.
Beating procrastination isn't about being tougher, it's about being smarter. Your brain isn't your enemy, it's a system you can train. Start with the two-minute rule, today, right now. Pick one task you've been avoiding, open it, do one tiny action, then drop a comment saying started so I know you took control. Don't let impulses run your life. Own your time, own your future. And if you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Together, we'll build the best version of you, one small intentional action at a time.